All right. Moving on to, we mentioned him in the in the last uh, segment, but Eddie Main. I actually enjoyed because because Eddie and Olivia were only on one day of the week last week. They were only on, I think it was Thursday, but it was such a fantastic uh, a fantastic point in the show of seeing you know Eddie singing. I I, I liked I liked that part. I liked it too, but I was a little like, dude, you're just going to like play it by ear with all this studio time. That's very expensive to record in a studio. And the guy in the producer guy was like, okay, so you have anything prepared? Do you have this? Do you have that? He's like, no, it's all in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, really? Well, I mean, how Eddie May rolls? I mean, I don't know. I didn't watch back in like the. Prime Eddie Main days, but I'm just like, this is a little sus. Like, you don't have anything. There are some artists that are like that, that you know, literally go in. I mean, you you hear more about them being big time, not just you know, a local singer who sings on the corners. Um, I mean, I don't know how big Eddie Main got in, in Port Charles world to the fact of what. Could you, you know, was he a one hit wonder? Did he get sell, you know, a platinum album at some point? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I might, I might have to re listen to the Eddie Main, uh, Port Charles 411 that, uh, that Pier 54 put out, um, just to kind of refresh myself on that. Cause I, I don't, I honestly don't know. I mean, um, maybe he put out one record, one album, and then ended up doing local gigs. But sometimes, you know, again, sometimes some artists just have that feeling. But it was so cute with Leo helping him with the lyrics. I thought that was great. Oh, that was cute. I want more of those little, like, moments. Because I I said this last time we talked about uh, Ned, Leo, and Olivia. But I think Leo is key to getting... Ned his memory back so I enjoy their their moments together and like even Olivia was like how do you know that Leo how do you know that that's so it was so cute yeah but you know and what I really liked was the the two people you know the production engineers that were in the booth you know that were actually mixing the music and and the sounds and everything they were actually producing the song they were very, very patient, not only with, with Eddie, you know, the fact that he wanted to play it by ear and just kind of go off the top of his head, but they were very patient with Leo as well. I doubt many, many children are in, you know, positions like that. And they're, they're asking a lot of questions and I don't think there are many producers that would put up with that. Um, yeah. I've never, I've never been in a professional recording studio, so I can't, you know, right, I, right. I mean, I don't know how many kids are allowed in professional recording studios, but that was nice. I mean, I think, I mean, it's sunny. He paid for it, so it's like I think, you know, the yeah. any any so called rules is long. <laughs> oh, right, exactly. Plus, it's like he had parental supervision, so it's not like you know some kid running around, right? Like crazy, very well behaved kid. He always so. exactly. Um, I I I don't know. I almost I almost thought that by the end of the song that that was kind of that arc to and, and the end of the arc of Ned realizing that you know he was Ned instead of Olivia. I almost thought that was gonna kind of come out towards the end, but I, I I guess I was wrong. I mean I I haven't seen them on this week's episodes yet, so I can't say for sure, but. It, it almost felt like that could have been kind of the catalyst for for Ned, Ned and Olivia to kind of get back together. And Ned come to his senses. Yeah, yeah. I think I think she should try True Love's Kiss on him though, just to see if it works. Just to see <laughs> yeah. if he gets like a flash or something. Like, oh wait, <laughs> I remember this guy I'm supposed to be. You know, I just think it'd be funny. This little Disney plug, you know. Right. Um, I I know that there was a lot of and this this storyline in general with Eddie Main is kind of 
I don't want to say controversial, but it, it did it does cause waves online because they almost like Eddie Main was Ned Quartermain's or Ned yeah Ned Ashton's but Ned Quartermain's um, stage name. So it wasn't an actual persona or personality trapped inside of Ned. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are kind of wondering, and my biggest thing, because I don't know Eddie Main, like you, the same thing like you, I wasn't, I wasn't watching during the height of Eddie Main, but the whole point that he's, poor, you know, that, that he's portraying a different person, it, it doesn't make sense because it was never like, it was just a stage name. It was still Ned, but Ned was performing as Eddie Main. So where where is the um oh what's the word i'm thinking of but where's the 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 the, the, the reasoning the reasoning behind eddie like not remembering lois not remembering tracy because if if it was you know eddie as ned or ned as eddie he still wouldn't remember I, he still would have remembered you know everything I, I'm not, and I guess I'm with the consensus of I'm not understanding where it's coming from. Right. Yeah. I don't really get where that's coming from either. I'm just kind of confused why they've taken this route because, yeah. like you said, it was just a stage name, but they made it like this whole separate person for this amnesia storyline. So, you know, at first to me, it was like, oh, a little silly so I was like alright where are they going to go with this and it kind of seems like they really are trying to make it like Eddie was this whole separate person yep. so it's it's in, it's it's really kind of strange but I mean I'll I'm willing to see where it goes if it if it right. makes sense in the, in the long term but it just feels like they kind of just came up with this and just decided, well, let's see how this works out. Huh. We right. don't think this is funny. Maybe the audience. Is. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what they were really thinking. I mean, I've never heard of the GH writers uh, writing for writing for one as to, in terms of like what Frank Valentini enjoys, and that's what the where the writing is going. I've heard it in the WWE. Um, you know, where it's said that everybody writes for the audience of one being Vince McMahon. Um, but I've never heard it for Frank Valentini, wh where there's no been no writer saying, oh, we're just writing for the audience of one and whatever people say about it, they don't care. Um, so it, it is, it's something to bring up, it, it, you know, and, and kind of find out why. Like, I guess I would have liked to see more more tests run in the in the hospital you know by a neurosurgeon to find out well what's going on in the gray matter in his brain and to, to for him to actually think he's a rocker under his stage name i don't you know that's that's one of the biggest most perplexing questions that i have regarding this entire storyline yeah yeah, no, I, I, I'm with you. I think, I think they should have done a little bit more, more testing in the hospital to figure out, like, okay, well, why does he think he's Eddie? Right. Like, it's not just like amnesia. Like, I don't know who. Like, it would make more. It would honestly almost make more sense if he's like doesn't know who he is at all. Right. He exactly. He doesn't know his name. He doesn't know his is anything really. He just knows that he is a musician or something or feels called to to his musical roots or something. Yeah. It, it's just, it's a little strange, but you, like if there was evidence to back it up in the hospital. Right. Oh, you know, we ran these tests and the, he has some sort of, you know, whatever they want to call it, some kind of memory issue that would make him think he's Eddie Main. Right, exactly. You know, like maybe he doesn't remember anything after... <laughs> 1990 something whenever 93 94 whenever the height of the enemy story was like, <laughs> right 
you know? But like, that would still, you know, but then at, at that point, you would still remember Brenda and, and Lois because that was the whole point of you know. L&B Records. They were the ones that put that together. Of course, Sonny paid for it. Um, but yeah, exactly. There, there's a lot of, there's, a, in this storyline alone, there's a lot of, um, you know, pushing aside your, um, <clears throat> Your your realism, you know, uh, or suspending suspending dis- dis- yeah, suspending <laughs> dis- yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's all, there's a lot of it, and actually a couple of the storylines. There's just a lot of suspension of disbelief going on in the in these in these storylines right now. Um, and we'll get to we'll get to more in a little bit. Um, I I wouldn't mind seeing, you know this the storyline with Eddie kind of come to an end shortly now that I mean w- with a brief spoiler as of yesterday's episode Sonny says the the charges dropped um but now that that's over I wouldn't mind seeing the end of the Eddie main story the end the end of the Eddie main storyline yeah yeah they need to wrap it up because it's just gonna it's it's starting to get a little tired. Tired. It, it is. It, it's almost like where else can you go? Unless they bring back uh, Rena Sofer as as Lois, and then that kind of puts the 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 wrench, the monkey wrench, into whatever's building between Eddie and Olivia. Um, that's one way they can go, but they have to actually pull the trigger to do it. Rena Sofer is not working right now. That you know she's available. And, you know, if General Hospital could get her and get that, you know, kind of re reimagine that storyline and, and kind of put her in there as to be like, hey, you know, you're from from his path and maybe you can draw it out, you know, draw Ned out of Eddie. Uh, but again, I don't I don't know if that's this would, the be, the oppor- this, this would be the opportunity to do that. Right. You know, but I feel like if it was if that was going to happen and they were going to bring Rena back, I feel like it would have happened sooner rather than later. At this point, I I can I can agree with that absolutely. Yeah. So I kind of doubt that's going to happen. Right. But if it did, it would have to be relatively soon. <laughs> yes, Rel- <laughs> relatively soon. Absolutely. Right. All right. Uh, let's. Uh... Any other notes on Eddie Maine? Are you just as tired about the? Uh, as you're, you're just tired of this storyline. I'm tired of it. I mean, they don't really have. I don't think much else to play. I mean, everyone's been trying to get through to him. Although I don't really feel like there's been enough scenes with BLQ and right. Eddie Maine slash Ned. Mm-hmm. To, like, kind of try to jog his memory for his daughter. I mean, I think they've only had a couple of scenes. I feel like I feel yeah. like maybe it's been between Eddie, a little bit of Tracy, and then Olivia and Leo. So I I'm I'm starting to think that like Leo is gonna be like the catalyst for him getting his memory back. I feel like he's gonna be a key part of it. I'm hoping. Yep. So that's hoping that's my too. theory, but they, they gotta wrap that up. Yeah. I, and I agree. I think I, I honestly feel like Leo's gonna be the catalyst uh to bring bring that family back together the quarter mains it's very strange uh because i don't think they've ever actually been united on any front at all with the exception of knowing that that's alan's uh that alan gave that house to monica and not tracy um all right so we'll move on to the next topic and uh 